Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're doing my Thanksgiving week spread and I think it is gonna turn out so pretty. I'm really excited for this kit. It's just, it's beautiful. Um, I'm thinking this week that I will do something a little bit different, but um, I think it will work for this week. So I have done in the past a couple of plan as I go type videos where you see like the whole week planned out. And I think I'm going to do that this time because I don't really have a lot to plan up front. So why not just film it at the back end? So we're going to do the pre-planning together here. And then you will see me jump right into filling in the rest of the week as we go. So I thought that would be kind of fun to do this week so you can see everything. It will be probably a little bit longer of a video, but... I will definitely speed it up for you so it's not like an hour long or anything. Um, this kit is so gorgeous. But before we look at this, let's look at my weekly action items. I'm keeping it very simple this week. So I just kind of pared everything down. Um, for personal, getting some rest this week spending time with family and just kind of enjoying that time. Um, writing a packing list, I need to do that on probably Monday. I'm gonna brainstorm my December goals, so I'll probably do that while I'm uh, visiting my parents. Um, reading a new book and uh, holding on for two days, we can do that. And then enjoying my family time. I'm really only going to see my parents and my sister. We have all been very safe and I feel comfortable with um, that and then to see our extended family we're going to do a big family zoom with my grandparents and we're going to facetime my sister since she can't be with us so um, that's kind of how we're adapting to the holidays this year and then also with health i'm just keeping it again very simple prioritizing sleep and eating well on the days that are not like full-on thanksgiving and then um containing daily stoic and journaling and then um just some financial things just really really simple which i think will work best for this week and then let me show you this kit it's so pretty this is from caress press it is called thankful i love this art it's from kitness jess who's like my favorite planner artist and it's just so pretty i think i'm gonna leave out these two boxes here and instead sub in this one and the extra box, which I really like that one. I think that's so cute. All right, so we've got the full boxes here. I love the touch of leopard. I love leopard so much. And then we've got some boxes here. This kit is the essential format and I love how many boxes there are. It's amazing. And then you also get glitter headers included, which I also just love. And then some functional things here, bottom washi and that extra box. Also date covers. I'm just going to use the hell out of this kit because it's like got everything I need. I think the only things I will add are like character stickers and that's it. Just so pretty. I thought about adding foil to this and you know I'm seeing the leopard and I could definitely add that but I'm just thinking I want it to be kind of soft and not super shiny. I just I want it to be just kind of simple and it's going to be gorgeous. So um, I think we're ready to get started. So I didn't even say what week this was. So we've got November 23rd through the 29th and it's Thanksgiving week. So let's get started. So let's start with the bottom washi. I'm going to use this strip as is. Since it is just a little bit short, I am going ahead and whiting out the lines on the ends and then just kind of centering it in the column. So I did leave the one on the left as a guide, but I think on this side, am I going to do the same thing? Yes, I did. So I'm just going to leave it a little short on the right side, which really when the spread's done, you can't really tell. Then I'm going to use the date covers. I was going to only use the date covers, but the deco is so cute and I wanted to use it. So I'm doing a rare thing. I'm using both, which I know is weird for me because usually I'm one or the other. I don't like it to be too crowded up there, but because the deco is so small and the date covers are so skinny and short, I think it works. So you'll see that in just a second. I'm putting in the date cover or the um, glitter headers right now. And I think that they work really well. I chose the like burgundy color and I think it looks really pretty. 
and it brings in some more of that dark color because the spread generally is pretty like light. So I'm putting the date covers down just a little bit further than I would normally do because I'm putting in that deco. So the size of the deco is really key here because it's so small. I can really work it in and I don't think it looks too crowded. It would probably be too crowded for some people, but um, I think for this spread, it's a holiday and it's my favorite holiday. And I just think it looks really pretty. And kind of finishes off the spread too, because the bottom washi is very simple. So I think that it works. So I'm just putting in the bigger pieces first, and then I'm filling in with the smaller pieces and the leaves and the florals. And then I'm actually gonna cut some of the leaves in half and use them again. So you'll see me do that. I think that's a really good tip is if you don't have enough deco is to put just like half of it on the page and then cut it off and save it. As you see, I put it on my sticker sheet and then you can reuse the other half and you can't even tell. So here I'm just going to reuse a couple of these leaves just to fill in some space. Okay, it is pretty busy up there, but I think it I think it works. Like I said, I don't do that normally. Okay, let's go to the sidebar. So for the sidebar, here I'm just kind of marking where I want to put full boxes because I wanted to separate the girl boxes and the flat lace. So I just kind of am manipulating where I want them to go. And then I change my mind like 10 times, <laughs> which tends to happen because I'm re a re really visual person and I need to be able to see where they're going to be. So I change my mind all the time. Okay, so first thing is I'm putting in this fall bucket list box, which I think is really cute. I love that green color in this kit, and I actually found a cleaning checklist from Nikki Plus 3 that matches almost perfectly. Like, you can't even tell. It's a different color. But it took me a while to find it. <laughs> There it is. So it's like this sagey color and it's in the family. It's a little bit darker, but it's in the same family. And I think it works. Okay, then I'm gonna pull in the checklist and the header that says this week. I'm gonna cut this down though because it's too big. And I just don't need that many things. And then I'm gonna pull in a couple of habit trackers and a third box. Since I am doing four things on my checklist, I need a, a shorter box. I just love the colors in this kit, it's so pretty. So here's where I have to um, use the third box instead of a half box, which is totally fine. And because her kit has so many boxes in it, I found one in the pattern that I wanted to use. Okay, just for funsies, I added a couple of icons this week. I'm going to do it next week too, but it's not necessary. It's just kind of a fun little touch. So I am tracking my PM routine and closing my Apple Watch rings, which Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday was a struggle to close those rings <laughs> because I did not work out. But I did do some stretching and I did some just like random walking around the house kind of situation. So I did end up closing them, but it was it was down to the wire every day. So I was gonna pull a holiday sticker. So I found this one from Virgo and Paper, and you'll see me put that down later. And then I'm just pulling a bunch of scripts that I want to be sure to use. I'm getting to where I have a lot of different kinds of scripts. It doesn't really bother me when they don't match for some reason, it bothers me when they're foiled, but not when they're all like black and white. I don't know. It's just a weird thing. Okay, so we only went to school two days this week. So I just put my school stickers down for Monday and Tuesday. And then I'm just pulling a couple of character stickers that I wanted to use in this spread. 
I really love this Google Classroom one from Fox and Pip. I feel like I don't need another sheet of that, although I don't know when I would use them. But I'm using it for the first time. I just think it's so stinking cute. We are um, virtual. Well, not all virtual. We're hybrid right now. So I have been trying to mark that every week so that when I look back, I remember that weird piece of our lives. I am pulling several um, personalized coffee cups from the Crafty Banana to use later. So I'm starting with this Fox and Pip Google Classroom sticker to mark that we are still hybrid, which after the break we are still, I feel like we're going to be hybrid the rest of the year or we're going to be um, full distance. I know we're doing full distance after Christmas and... Um, my principal and superintendent have said we could go distance before that. So, I mean, who knows? Playing it by ear. But those two weeks after Christmas, when in January, when we come back to school, are definitely going to be full distance just to give everybody time to, you know, figure out if they're positive. Okay, back to the spread. So I pulled three labels for my videos and I didn't know what to mark them with this week. So I just pulled some Crafty Banana Fall coffee cups, or not coffee cup, candles. And I'm just using those and I think it looks super cute. And I light a candle when I'm doing like any kind of filming or long-term planning sessions. And I just... I like that. I think I will definitely do that again in the future. I think it looks really cute and it matches the spread perfectly. Okay, then I'm going to put in a workout half box for Monday. And then I'm going to put in um, a checklist later, but not right now. So here I'm just marking that I wanted to be sure to call my parents just because any last minute questions or things that we needed to discuss before I left on Wednesday morning. And then on Tuesday, I have here a little Once More With Love, um, funny, stressed out um, worker, I guess. And I have one of my coffee cups. So one of them is to mark my leadership team meeting, which uh, didn't really happen. We just texted because Got a little crazy on Tuesday, and I ended up taking a half day, so that was... Oh, we did meet, actually. We met over meet. Google Meet. Um, but it was it was a nutty day, and I was glad to leave early. <laughs> and then I put in some washi just to separate my school section, and then that third box is for my workout for that day. And then I'm just putting in a couple of notes to myself here. One of them is my cousin's daughter's birthday, her 16th birthday which is crazy. I met her when she was three. She's actually um, like my cousin's adoptive daughter through marriage. And um, she's just a very unique girl. And I texted her that day to make sure that she had a good, happy birthday. And then I just have notes here to start packing and to tidy up my house before I left because that was one of my weekly action items. I like coming back home to a semi-clean house at least. And then I'm going to start Wednesday. Oh, I'm just pulling some stickers here that I knew I wanted to use later in the week. Um, Monday or Wednesday, I should say. Wednesday was my dad's birthday, so I am marking that on a little label. My dad is not super big into birthdays, so I got him this shirt from Whataburger. We, our family loves Whataburger. We've basically grown up with it, and um, they have a shop. <laughs> like a clothing shop and I got some really cute stuff for my nephews and then I bought my dad this shirt that says what a dad and it's it was funny and he loved it <laughs> and then I have a hair washing um sticker here because I was just waiting to wash my hair on Wednesday morning instead of Wednesday night just so I didn't have to wash my hair when I was gone at all and then I have a little crafty banana coffee cup here to mark driving to Midland, which is where my parents live. 
and I drove pretty much straight through. I stopped to get gas before I left, so um, I just had to stop to go to the bathroom, which was fine. I was surprised that most people were wearing masks in rural West Texas. It's surprising. Okay, now I'm going back in and filling in Monday. So I have my workout here, which I have this cute new Fox and Pip Girl lifting weights. So I did an upper body strength workout that day. I put in a checklist of just some things I wanted to finish up on Monday. And I didn't do all of them. I saved a couple till Tuesday. So I'm just pulling a couple of stickers, including a workout sticker for Tuesday. And I'm just gonna chop her legs off and make it fit. And then I'm just gonna check off a couple of things that I ended up doing on Tuesday and adding to my sidebar, updating my habit trackers and double checking everything. So we watched a Christmas movie on Wednesday when I got there. It was really cute. I can't remember what it was called, but it was adorable. It was one of those Netflix ones. Um, not corny. We had a debate about Hallmark versus any other type of Christmas movies, and Hallmark definitely does it the best, but that movie was pretty cute. It might have been on Hallmark originally, but anyway, this evening we just relaxed, and we sat around the fire pit, and we had hamburgers. So low-key for my dad's birthday. We also had some cake. My mom had made this delicious pumpkin cake. I'm just repositioning this because I thought that it was crooked. And then just a quick note here that we watched Big Sky. So that's a new show on ABC and it was really good. I There's two episodes so far and it's really intense, but I'm loving it. And my parents had started watching it. So we watched the next episode together. And then on Thursday, so I knew I wanted to put in the double box. So I'm just kind of filling in this space at the bottom with what I did on Thursday night, which was I did some brainstorming for my December goals. I knew that I was going to film that when I got back home. So I just took some post-its and I brainstormed what I wanted to do for December, which um, that video is up if you would like to go. No, it's not. It's up on Wednesday, but um, I'm keeping it pretty simple. I think that's important for December. And then just pulling some holiday stickers from Fox and Pip to mark in cooking and baking with my mom in the morning. I really just wanted to use both stickers, so I separated them. But my mom and I were in the kitchen from 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., and we were only 30 minutes off of our schedule, which is usually we're like an hour, hour and a half off of schedule. So we did really well this time. And so I just pulled another one of those Fox and Pip holiday stickers. And then I'm just using this green box here to mark in actual lunch. And I have this cute sticker from Coffee Monsters Co., which I think is so cute. And I just put in that Thanksgiving sticker I pulled earlier. And then I have this Once More With Love Zoom sticker. So I'm just pulling on half box, no, quarter box for that. And we just met with my aunt and uncle and my grandparents for a little, you know, family time. And then I wanted to mark in that we've all basically like chilled out for a little bit and let the food digest. And then we came back and we had some pie, which is delicious. And I didn't know how to mark this because the pie I had was rather large. So I just cut it in half. I think it looks cute. And then I just pulled another piece of washi to mark in a little reading. I'm currently reading this really good book. I can't remember what the name is, but it's really good. And I will definitely, I think it's going to make my winter favorites video for sure because I'm on the edge of my seat. And then moving to Friday. So my dad made me breakfast and it was delicious. My dad doesn't cook very often, but when he does, it's top notch. So I just pulled a Coffee Monsters Co. Emoti for that. 
And then my mom asked me to give her a haircut and I watched some Brad Mondo videos and <laughs> he had like a whole series on how to do like quarantine haircuts and I think I did a pretty good job. I cut my finger, if you can see on my left hand, on my pointer finger, I cut my finger, <laughs> but I got it done and I think it looked pretty good. Plus she has curly hair, so you can disguise pretty much anything with curly hair. And then we also FaceTimed my sister that morning and uh, caught up with her. We also we did that basically every day, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But um, it was good to talk to her at least one more time during the holiday. And then this third box here is for um, me and my mom sat and watched almost all of the second season of Virgin River, which was really good. But... I've read the books. I haven't read the whole series, but I've read like the first eight books, I think. I did that like when we were like peak quarantine, like April. And the show is very different from the books. And I know it's cliche, but the books are so much better. The TV show drags everything out so much. And the books just like keep it moving. And it's like, a better storyline in the books. So I recommend the books more than the show, although I watched the hell out of the show. So I don't know what that says about me. And then moving on to Saturday, um, I put in the full box up there with that girl with her gorgeous hair and her cute little outfit. And then I'm using some new stickers from Hank and Plan this week. I bought her gold check-in stickers. I think they're really cute. And so I layered that with my Blue Scooter Press Planner, and the film sticker from Virgo and Paper. And then I have a note here to clean, which I didn't get a ton done yesterday. I'm filming this voiceover on Sunday. So Sunday, I have a lot to do. I got laundry done yesterday, but not much else. And then this label is for meal planning because I didn't do that on my normal day. So I worked out my meal plan, which ended up being pretty easy because I really just needed to plan lunches. And then that box below that is for my workout for that day, which ended up just being a low impact workout. Pretty simple because I was eating leftovers. Didn't feel like getting jostled around or anything. So I'm going to do some work workout today and we'll build up that intensity again but yesterday I wasn't feeling it and then um I just put in a grocery run sticker and then that crafty banana coffee cup for YouTube prep and then my workout for Sunday and then I'm gonna put in the meal prep sticker followed by my last full box here I like the way that this looks on this side with the full boxes I think it looks really nice I might have to try that again. And then I just have my hair washing sticker from Fox and Cactus. And then I do this when I am using a shorter box for workouts. I just cut their legs off. It works. It looks fine. I just cut their legs off. It's fine. And then um, I just have a couple of notes here on Sunday to clean out my cat boxes, take out the trash, do some basic stuff finish up the cleaning that I meant to do the day before, and then um, my workout for Sunday. I just added a GP Studio uh, water bottle. Again, just cut it down. And then for a Sunday night, I'm just going to read tonight. I need to get back into my PM routine. I have done an abbreviated version this week, so I want to get back on that. And then just filling in my sidebar here, writing my grocery list, um, closing all my rings, and then just finishing up. Here is this spread all finished up except for my time for my workout today. But everything else is all done. I love how this turned out. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the artwork and the colors are beautiful and I love the plaid on the bottom. It's just perfect for Thanksgiving. It was a really, really good week and it was just really good 
time with my family and just recharging and I'm not ready to go back to work tomorrow. I will say that, but I do feel a little bit refreshed and ready to tackle the next three weeks to get us to the holidays. So yeah, I, I just, I'm really happy with how this turned out. My dad's 60th birthday was on this day. We had a really good time. I had a really great time cooking with my mom and just having a good meal together and doing a little family Zoom pie, of course, um, FaceTiming with my sister and just relaxing. So I think that's what I needed. I think that's what we all need right now is rest, which that is going to be one of my goals for December is to work in rest. So before we go, let me check in with my goals. All right, so here is my weekly action list and everything went pretty well because I kept it very simple, which is necessary sometimes. Daily Stoic, I totally fell off, but I'll get back on that next week. Everything else pretty good except for health and wellness, just total bust. Uh, sleep was not great and definitely not eating well. I've already had two cinnamon rolls this morning and it's um, not even 9 a.m. So <laughs> uh, we're just going to start over on Monday because holiday weeks are meant to be enjoyed, right? <laughs> so um, I am enjoying my new books and I will definitely give you updates on that. But I think that's everything for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this different style. I don't do it very often because it is a lot of editing and just putting a bunch of clips together and a lot more filming than I normally do, but it is nice to do it every once in a while. So if you like this, let me know and I will do it again um, in the next couple months or so. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye!